Now for the last part of this question, we're given that the power now developed by the car's engine is increased to 18 kilowatts. In other words, 18,000 watts. And the magnitude of the resistance remains unchanged from the previous part. Remember we worked out that it was 260 newtons. And at the instant when the car is moving up the slope here at 20 meters per second, the car's acceleration is now a meters per second per second. And what we've got to do is find out what a is. Well, I'm going to change the driving force now because it's going to be a lot more if we're going to cause the car to accelerate. So we'll call it D1, okay, for the this or for this part. And so therefore we know that the power developed just in general is the driving force times the velocity. Well, we need to change that to D1. So that's our starting point here. We can work out what D1 is and then go on to resolving up the plane to get an equation involving the acceleration A from which we should be able to find out what A is. So again, you might like to pause the video and uh, have a go at this and uh, come back in a moment and uh, I'll run through, as usual, the work solution. Okay, welcome back if you had a go. So let's see how you got on if you had uh, had a go, as I say. Um, right, okay, so we've got the power. The power is 18,000, so we can say that therefore 18,000 equals that driving force, D1, multiplied by V, which is 20. And if we now rearrange this to get D1 by doing 18,000 divided by the 20, what you end up with is 900. So you've got your new driving force of 900 newtons. So we now resolve up the plane, taking up the plane as positive, and so we've got that driving force D1, which is 900 newtons, minus the resistance, 260 newtons, and then minus the component of the weight down the plane, so that's going to be minus 750 g sine theta. And because it's accelerating now, we've got that this force, this resultant force, equals the mass, which was 750 kilograms, times the acceleration A. And from this, we can rearrange this to get A by dividing both sides by 750. So the acceleration A is going to be 900 minus 260 minus 750 multiplied by g, which is 9.8, and the sine of theta was 1 15th. And if we divide this then all by the 750, that's going to get us that acceleration. And if you do this, it works out exactly at 0.2. So we've got the acceleration A is 0.2 meters per second per second. Okay, so Hope you managed to get that one and uh, or understand it anyway. All right, so uh, that brings us now to the end of this particular question.